guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bit of a, shall we call it, setting powder showdown. So I'm gonna be testing two setting powders today. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, then you kinda know already what I'm talking about and what this video is on. But basically, just to fill you guys in, disclaimer, this is not a video to bring up any drama, although there is a lot of drama circulating these two products and uh, I'll let everyone form their own opinions about that because, you know, I'm just leaving it at that. <laughs> Anyways, so the two powders that I'm gonna be trying today, they are two setting powders and they are both claimed to be setting, baking, and brightening. So, the two powders that we're testing out today are gonna be one, this is contestant number one. This is the Beauty Bakery Flower. This is their setting powder, baking powder. And if you guys aren't familiar with Beauty Bakery, they are an indie brand. They're not that big. A lot of people don't know about them. Um, they're not a brand that you can find at Sephora or Ulta, to the best of my knowledge. They're just basically online only. They have their Instagram account. And the whole deal of their brand and their image is that the whole brand is like based around like baking. So they have like their liquid lipsticks, which are called their lip whips. They have their foundation, which I think is called like frosting or something like that. Um, everything has to do with like baking or sweets. So it's really, really cute and it's a really, really cute concept of a brand. Also, they're not that new. They've been around for a good while already. But like I said, they're still in that indie category where they're not like a mass marketed brand or a really worldwide brand like maybe Too Faced or Urban Decay, NARS, nothing like that. So the powder that we're gonna put this up against is going to be over the new, ish, it's pretty new still, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. So again, just to kind of fill you in on why we're testing these two powders, because I know some of you are probably thinking like, Kat, there's all these setting powders out there. Why are you putting these two together to the test? And mainly because there's a lot of controversy around these two powders. Um, basically, long story short, when Huda Beauty came out with their new setting powder, the whole campaign, it's called Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder. Everything that they used to market this powder looked very similar to Beauty Bakeries. And a lot of people feel that Huda kind of ripped off Beauty Bakeries concept and decided to use their concept to market her new powder. Like I said, you can form your own opinion about it and everything. Kind of where I stand on it is whether she ripped them off or not, we don't know, no one knows what anyone's intentions really are. Although I will say, I am a little bit on the fence of where I stand with this because I think at one point, Huda Beauty was also an indie brand and I'm pretty sure at some point, maybe a bigger brand might have used some of their ideas. I don't know. The thing is, a lot of these makeup companies that have started off as indie brands eventually become big name brands like Huda has. So I'm not defending her, I'm also not defending Beauty Bakery, but at the same time, you don't know, Beauty Bakery may become a big brand and, you know, a lot of the times these makeup trends all circulate around the same thing. I know it was a past thing with like the whole unicorn stuff and it's hard to say who was the first one, who was the original one. Although, I'm not going to lie, her ad campaign and everything did seem really similar and there was a little bit of backstory on that they had asked for a like PR package from the company. I don't know if this is true or not, this is what I read. They asked for a PR package sometime long ago from Beauty Bakery and they feel like maybe they had done that to kind of analyze their whole concept and get ideas. I don't know. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors or in these offices of these companies, but what I wanted to know was, okay, forget the drama, really though, between these two that seem to be very similar, which one is the better powder? Because I think we all just want to find a really good setting powder. For me personally, I struggle with finding a good baking and brightening powder because I am on the fairer side and a lot of these powders that are like intended to brighten really don't have a shade light enough for me that is able to do the job and if it's like translucent it doesn't it sets it really well but it doesn't brighten my under eyes and i like a really nice bright under eyes these days so that is what i was hoping to find in these two 
So before we go into trying on and you guys can see what it looks like as I'm applying, I'm just gonna go over a little bit of like product breakdown here. Beauty Bakery, their flower setting powder comes in four different shades, I believe, yes, four different shades. They have a brown, a pink, a translucent, and a yellow. I myself got translucent. I was debating between translucent and yellow, but like I said, I feared that the yellow wasn't gonna be bright enough. It might look just a little dark on my skin tone, so I went with translucent. It is $24 for this jar. This jar contains 14 grams, approximately 0.49 ounces of product for $24. And it's really cute. I'll just kind of show you guys here on my phone. It does come shipped like this. It comes in like a little flower bag and everything. I mean, their whole concept and brand idea is really well thought out and it's super, super cute. I ordered it, it got here really, really fast. Um, I believe they are here in the States, so that is a plus. So for the Huda Beauty Powder, I wanted to order directly from her site. I didn't want to go through Sephora or anything like that. So for the Huda Beauty Powder, you're getting, blah, 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 let's see, for $34, so you're $10 more, you're gonna be getting, it says on here, 0.71 ounces of product. I hope I'm reading that right. So, so the Huda packaging apparently has about 22, 0.22 ounces more of product. So for the Huda Beauty, you're gonna be paying, I think I'm doing this math right, if not someone who's a math whiz, correct me. <laughs> For the Huda, you're getting a, a gram for a dollar and seventy cents. So a dollar and seventy cents per gram of product. And for Beauty Bakery, you are getting a dollar and seventy-one cents per gram. So when you think about the price breakdown, it's pretty much the same thing. Now the Huda powder does come in a lot more shades. We have about eight shades here. I ended up going with Sugar Cookie, which is a translucent uh, shade. Apparently, it's Described on the website as suitable for all fair to tan skin tones, neutral undertones, and it's ultra brightening. So of course I went with that one because ultra brightening is what I was looking for. Now since I ordered directly from Huda's website, she is based I believe in Dubai, so it did have to go through um, international shipping. Okay, so for Huda, I ended up paying uh, $20.58 in shipping. That was a flat rate. So it was pretty expensive to order, and I just got one powder. I didn't get anything else from her thing. I just got one powder, that one thing. So I ended up paying a total of $54.58 for my order. So it's a standard five to seven business days, $5. So all in all, I would have paid $29. That right there is a huge difference in price already. Again, I did order from directly from Huda. I don't know if it would have been cheaper if I ordered from Sephora or something like that, but I did it. I wanted to order directly from each brand. So just to keep it, I guess, fair. Also, I wanted to kind of judge their packaging, which they both did an immaculate job on packaging, I'm not gonna lie. So I have been trying out this, these powders for the past few days, and I do already have like an opinion formed on both of them and which one I actually do prefer over the other one. I'm not gonna say it just yet. I'll wait for the end of the video because I wanted to show you guys exactly how these powders apply, how they look and how they wear throughout the day. So this video is gonna be in that format where we're gonna go straight into the clip of me applying it and then I'm gonna just probably do a check-in later on before I'm ready to take off my makeup and let you guys see how every powder held up. Cause it's one thing for it to bake and brighten right when you're done with your makeup, but you definitely want something that's gonna last all day, all day cause the whole idea of baking, at least in my opinion, includes having your makeup stay on a lot longer because that's what baking is supposed to be helpful for as well. So like I said, we're gonna jump right now into the clip of me applying this and just take it from there. All right, so before we go into trying the powders, there's really no other way that I can do this other than just starting off my makeup as usual. So I'm gonna be using items or products that I have just been using lately, generally, just to keep this fair. Back there is my closet of secrets, which is basically all my makeup, and yeah, so I usually don't have it. I'm at a different angle in my beauty room today, so you guys get to see what's on the other side. Anyways, so to start off, I'm gonna be using the Farsali, Barsali Unicorn Essence, the antioxidant serum. I've been using this for a while. I'm gonna zoom in probably just a little bit more. This is a really good serum if you are on the oilier side because it's not very oily itself and it smells delicious. So once that's already soaked into the skin, I'm gonna be going in with the foundation I've been using lately, which is my favorite, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm using shade number four, which is medium beige. 
right now because I am self tan. It's fading a bit, but this foundation color should still work. I'm gonna be using my little mirror back. and just kind of bouncing that into my skin. This is the foundation I use on like all my clients. I love it. It's pretty much my one of my favorite drugstore foundations for sure. We're gonna do our concealer, which again, I'm gonna be using one that I've just been using lately, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know this. I'm using the shade Light Neutral because you guys know this has been like my ride or die concealer for a long while now. And same thing, we're just gonna be blending this out with our beauty sponge. I'm trying really hard in my videos to not be looking at the viewfinder. Because my videos are anything per se, and I was looking at it a lot, and it looks like I'm not looking at the camera. All right, so now that our concealer is blended out, it is time for the powders. So on the left side, I'm gonna be using the Beauty Bakery powder, and on the right side, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty what exact uh, easy bake loose baking and setting powder so with this one it's just like a regular type of jar where it has like the sifter inside a lot of powder comes out so you're gonna want to be very careful so I'm just gonna make sure I give my under eye one more quick blend so what I'm gonna do is just directly dip my sponge into that powder and I am just going to press that right on so Right away, you can see that the powder really sticks well. Because a lot of powder is dispensed out of the jar, you get a really good, like, even application. My laugh line. So basically, that's the whole area that I like to set and highlight. There is no scent to this powder. And as you guys can see, it's not what I would call a translucent color. I don't wanna, there you go. It's not what I would call a translucent color. I honestly feel like there's a bit of like a yellowish, very, very light yellowish cream tint to this. So for this side, we're using the Huda Easy Bake Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. The jar is a lot bigger and it's square, it's not round. And when you open it, you will see that you kind of have like this mesh I don't know if you guys can see. It's like this mesh lining, so that's what they use as a sifter. It does control a lot of the powder from spilling out, so you're not gonna get as much out of this, like all at once in a shake, as you would the other one. And as you can see, the color on this one, this is more what like a, I'm used to seeing a translucent powder look like. It's kind of more like white, basically like no color. Although on the website, it does say that this one is like the ultra brightening effect. So I'm going to make sure I use the side of the sponge that we didn't use and again dip I, I dispense this one into the cap because that mesh lining doesn't really let me get a good amount right off the bat and we're gonna do the same thing on this side I should mention that this powder has like a scent to it it's not sweet it actually smells like perfumey so that may be something in case you're sensitive to fragrance you maybe need to be careful of so as you can kind of see, this one's already starting to set in. This one's still fresh. It does look pretty bright. It does look pretty even. You get a good amount of product on your sponge and on your face if you are pouring the powder into this uh, cap. If you're gonna be dipping right on top of the mesh lining, you're not gonna get a very good uh, amount of product picked up. I tried that the first couple times I used the powder and I didn't get a good amount of product, so it was just better to dispense it out into the cap. So as I normally do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. I still need to like set the rest of my foundation with my Bare Minerals Foundation Powder and do my brows and bronzing and highlighting and all that. So once I'm done with that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've already put on the foundation powder and did my bronzing contouring on my cheekbones. Before I do the nose, contour though this is the point where I like brush off everything so we're gonna do that because I kind of wanted to show what it looks like immediately when you take the powder off so we'll do this side first and I'm just using a tapered really soft uh, brush here from crown beauty as you can see the powder like kind of pretty much absorbed a lot into my skin there really wasn't a big heap to brush off and as you can see this side is left pretty bright. I love that it stays like a bright shade. And then we're gonna just kind of do the side of the forehead. So next is gonna be the Huda Beauty side. It still looks really white. I mean, it was only left on probably like 30 seconds to a minute on more. We're gonna brush this off.
Okay, so now you can see the comparison of both sides. They look pretty much, I feel like the same color. Again, I still feel, in my opinion, that this side has like that yellowish tint. So it's kind of like giving this like a warmer brightening effect, but I'll let you guys decide. So we're gonna finish off the rest of our makeup now. Okay, makeup is done, hair is done too. By the way, before I get asked, because I know I probably will, if you guys want to see how I get this hairstyle, it's a very quick, easy curling for short hair. Um, I do have the video up, I'll link it down below. And yeah, so like I said, I wasn't doing anything crazy with my makeup today because ain't nobody got time for that today. So I just did something super simple, I didn't even do eyeshadow on the eyes. Now, how I normally like to do these type of like test videos is I'll do hourly check-ins. I don't think I'm going to do that today because I don't really feel like it's necessary. I think what I'm going to do is just check in at the end of my day. I don't know what time that will be. I don't know how many hours it'll be, but just to check in so you guys can see exactly how it holds up, if that makes sense, and hopefully you get a good idea. So this is what we're working with. To be honest, I feel like both powders are doing a really good job. Um, as of right now that they're both finished, I feel like my under eyes look very smooth. I feel like they look very matte. They look very bright, which is a big plus for me. So we are going to continue on and see how this looks. But I'll check in back whenever I get a chance to. I don't know what time that'll be at, but we'll see exactly how well the powders wear throughout the day. All right, you guys, so we are checking in, and it's been a long day. So it is now 9.49 at night. So let's see, I did my makeup like at around one, I wanna say, so it's definitely been about eight hours, and let's see how this held up. Just so y'all know, I have not touched up my foundation, my powder, blotted, anything like that. The only thing I did was just my lipstick because we did eat dinner and lunch and snacks so like obviously my lipstick was wearing off so I didn't want to look like a complete mess on here. As far as my face, my foundation and everything, I have not even touched anything around there. As you can see my oils have pushed through. I am oily, I am shiny, I am glistening off of my ring light. I'm gonna bring y'all in closer, don't be alarmed. I mean, come on, I had to make a bond day, so don't be harsh. I don't know how you guys determine how well something's keeping you matte, but for me, it's very easy. The best way for me to know if something is keeping me matte better and longer than something else is I literally just need to turn my face back and forth and whatever has the most shine on it is probably the product that didn't do as good of a job as the other one. They pretty much have done the exact same thing. I feel like quality wise, they have both kept me the same amount of matteness. Turning my head back and forth and really looking closely in the mirror. Like right now, I am looking at myself straight on in my mirror. It has lights all around. I'm getting so much more like bounce off of, sorry, bounce off of this side, which is the Huda side. Meaning I think this side is a little bit more oily than this side. Um, and eventually your oils will push through anything, but I feel like the Beauty Bakery did uphold a lot longer than the Huda Beauty. Is it neck and neck? I would say yeah. From like judging on this video, it's really hard to tell as far as which performs better. But to be honest with you guys, I have used the Beauty Bakery for a few days and I have used Huda for a few days and I do have a favorite. And I will say that my favorite setting powder is Beauty Bakery's. Um, one, again, I feel like it does keep me matte a lot longer. Two, I like that there is no scent. I don't mind the scent in Huda's, but I wish it was more like of a sweet. It just smells like perfume. Almost kind of close to like the airspun. It doesn't smell exactly like that, but it's like that type of scent where it's like kind of like, you're either gonna really like it or you're not gonna like it at all. You know what I mean? Um, and three, it was a lot cheaper than Huda's. Again, I don't know if the price would be as much if you ordered the Huda baking powder off of Sephora, but the fact that I did order it off of Huda's website and it came from Dubai and everything, and it was just that one powder, I spent so much more money on that one powder than I did on getting the Beauty Bakery powder. Also, I really, really appreciate the little bit of yellow tint that the Beauty Bakery powder has because 
I feel like it really does do something to brighten up my under eye. And I feel like even right now, I can see the difference between this side and this side. This side just still looks a lot more lifted, a lot more full coverage than this side. And I really do believe it's that hint of color. And again, I don't know if another shade of Huda's would have done it, but I got the lightest shade in both of the brands. And for me and my skin tone and what I look for in a highlighting powder, the Beauty Bakery has definitely won me over. So much so that I am actually contemplating on purchasing it for my kit because it is that dang good. And you all know I like to share the magic with my clients. So all in all, that is my conclusion. That is my opinion. You guys can go ahead and buy whichever powder you think is best between these two. If you guys have a suggestion for a powder, share it with us. Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, if you found that it was helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because, oh my God, my dog almost knocked over me late. <laughs> um, I would really appreciate it. And if you can, make sure to be notified. Click the little bell next to my username and you will be notified right away when I have a new upload. So you won't miss out on anything. A lot of fun things coming to my channel. I really feel like I'm really getting back to the swing of things. So enjoy it. Yeah, other than that, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Links are in my description box. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.